if you forget everything I've said today, you must remember one word, demand. That is the only way you grow economies is to create demand. Because there's no point in producing things if nobody's going to buy them, if there's no demand for those things. So how do you create, how do you increase uh, domestic demand or consumer demand? You do that by placing money in people's pockets so that the goods that are circulating in the, in the economy <coughs> Uh, uh, a purchase so that other people can uh, pay, uh, manufacture more goods <clears throat> and that's the only way that you create jobs uh, that you, you do in, on, on our uh, proposal by ensuring that the people have minimum wages <clears throat> because the problem in South Africa there's all this talk about unemployment, uh, uh, poverty, inequality the song that everybody sings what they forget is that there's massive underemployment in other words, even some of the people that we are saying are employed are getting peanut, uh, peanuts and they won't even be able to contribute anything to the economy or to boost the demand uh, for, in the economy. I've said this before. What money, is like oxygen, what money is to the economy is like oxygen to the body. If you stifle the flow of, 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 of money and, and uh, of demand, then you're never going to grow either the body or the, or, the, or the economy. So that's why we propose minimum wages. The other way in which you, you grow an economy is by increasing productivity. Once again, you are not going to increase productivity if you have unskilled workers, but also if you have underpaid workers, because hungry people are not going to be your instruments for increasing um, productivity. You mentioned the mining industry. If you want to see the conditions under which the people in the, in the mining compounds live right now, the filthy uh, conditions and unhealthy conditions, then you can't uh, demand productivity from those kinds of, of, of people who have who have been neglected for, for, for 20 years. The other way in which you boost an economy is by increasing savings levels, savings and investment. Savings, again, you how are people going to save? We have a population that this economy is going to collapse on the back of debt. Our people are indebted with Omashonisa and all sorts of, of, of things. They can, you can hardly ask them to save. They, can, they can't even survive on what they have. Now, an economy which doesn't have savings, it means it doesn't have uh, reserves for, for, for investments. The, the fourth uh, element for um, uh, building an economy is uh, public investment. That, that's fiscal policy. On the fiscal policy side, you deal with uh, so public investment and, 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 and the tax policy. Now, those, all those things have been completely messed up. I don't understand. I agree that politically we've had a, a, a great uh, uh, success and we are better off. If we were not, I would, after this coming out of the studio, I would be arrested for criticizing the government. But economically, I cannot understand someone who says we are better off when we have 16 million people on welfare and only 11 million people were, were employed. That's okay. a recipe for disaster. All right.